This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Friday. We got a little rain to talk about. We'll let you know how much rain we're expecting today and whether you're going to have to dodge raindrops at ball games tonight. All of that and a whole lot more coming up on this morning's edition of your prime time forecast for Friday. September 6th, 2024, on Dr. Don's Weather. Brought to you by all the fine folks up there at the Randolph County Commission. Thank you, Pam Johnson, and all of the county commissioners for being a supporter of Dr. Don's Weather. We greatly appreciate the Randolph County Commission. Hyperreach is how you receive local emergency information during times of emergencies. Now, all you have to do to sign up for this if you live in Randolph County, just text the word ALERT to 256-540-8664. Now, if you live outside of Randolph County, you can still sign up for this if you have interest in Randolph. I, I live in Northeast Georgia, and I get their alerts. Uh, but if you live outside of Randolph and you're looking for the same type of information in your county or municipality, hit Google. I guarantee you, most likely, your local jurisdiction has a mass notification system as well. Randolph County Commission, hyper reach, great uh, a way for you to receive weather information and road closures and, and just any type of local emergency information. Jamie Dukas is where you get your ducks in a row. Get in touch with Jamie today at 256-831-7770. Let Jamie show you how you can save money on your insurance and in a lot of cases, increase your coverage at the same time. He can handle your business, your personal insurance needs. He, hey, them barn dominiums, those things are hard to get insurance on. Jamie knows how to do that, and he can write the in insurance for you in Alabama and in Georgia. Jamie Dukas, the only person you need to talk to when it comes to insurance needs across the region. So we are kind of sandwiched in between a mess today. We have uh, double barrel low pressure, and we have a little small high pressure system kind of stuck in between the two low pressure systems. Now, the high pressure is off to our west, and that is suppressing the rain and keeping it to the south and to the southwest. Um, the $64 million question that nobody can answer at the moment is how long does that high pressure dominate the low pressure? Uh, does it hang around all day? Uh, does it, does it uh, keep us from getting into any, you know, significant rainfall? I think there's a decent possibility that could happen. Now, the radar showing a good bit of rain out there this morning, but a lot of it's not making it to the ground thanks to that persistent high pressure off to our east. And so there will be periods of rain today, um, but I don't think we're looking at a complete washout here. We're talking a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain seems to be plausible with the best chances south of I-85. Now, it's going to rain across East Alabama and West Georgia, south of I-20 and north of I-85. But I just don't think we're going to see a massive monsoon. Uh, again, a tenth to a quarter inch of rain seems plausible. Uh, the cold front that's off to our northwest will move through on tomorrow on saturday and that will eventually push all of this out of here and we'll go back to a uh, much like a fall day by the time we get to saturday afternoon and into your sunday now when this cold front moves through on Saturday, it could kick up a few showers if you're going to college football on Saturday afternoon. Be prepared for maybe a sprinkle here and there as the front passes through. Taking a look at the tropics, there's still a lot going on out there as far as opportunity. Uh, we don't have any tropical systems that have formed, but we do have four different areas out in the tropics where we could see tropic formation 
uh, tropical formation in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. So the National Hurricane Center watching all those different yellow hatched areas you see on the map. But again, for the moment, nothing developed that would be a threat for the southeastern United States at this time. Let's take a look at your current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms in Chambers County, Alabama. 69 degrees this morning. The wind's out of the northeast at 4, gusting to 6. Humidity is 86%. The barometric pressure, 30.07. Dew point 65. High temperature yesterday was 81 degrees. We currently have cloudy skies. Could be some mist or drizzle out there. Sunrise this morning at 6.20 and the sun sets at 7.01 p.m. Looking at a mostly cloudy day with periods of showers, I think the rain for the most part will be on the light side. 74 will be the high temperature today in Roanoke. Ashland, 76, 74 in Lafayette, and we'll make it to 75 degrees down in Auburn. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. We're looking at about a 50-50 shot at seeing a shower, perhaps a rumble of thunder later this afternoon, but I really think that will be a, um, a rarity across the area. 74 will be the high temperature, down to 63 tonight. For high school football, we're looking at a 30 to 40% chance of showers this evening across Alabama and Georgia. Again, uh, it's going to be a hit and miss proposition. The further south you go, the better the chances will be to get wet at high school football tonight. Most of you, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So if you've got plans to go to a high school venue tonight, and I hope that you do, carry on, my friend, with your high school football plans. On Saturday, that cold front actually moves through the state. We'll give you a 20% chance of a passing shower as the front passes your location. Not going to be an all-day event. 81 will be the high temperature on Saturday. Dipping into the upper 50s on Saturday night. We're talking 58 degrees for your overnight low. It'll be chilly when you get up on Sunday morning. Much lower humidity. It's going to feel like fall, y'all. 80 will be the high on Sunday. Back to mostly sunny skies. Monday, mostly sunny. 81 carbon copy on Tuesday. And Wednesday, maybe a 20% chance of an afternoon shower. 79 will be your high temperature. We need rain. I mean, we're getting awfully close to drought conditions again. Uh, But boy, this is beautiful weather on the way for the next six to seven days across Alabama and Georgia. So let's take a look at your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. And there you are. Uh, You can see rain stretching from southeast Arkansas all the way through central Mississippi back into uh, West Alabama and then down to the Gulf Coast regions from New Orleans all the way over to Apalachicola. Uh, Again, some of this not making it to the ground. The darker greens and maybe the yellows uh, would be the areas where most of it is making it to the ground. You can see some of that over along I-20 from Jackson, Mississippi, back over to the Alabama state line. And then as we move uh, up closer to East Alabama and West Georgia between I-20 and I-85, you can see the the light greens beginning to move into the area from the southwest. There could be some sprinkles mixed in with this, but uh, that's not significant rainfall. The heavier showers are back over toward southwest Alabama, but will slowly work to the east, northeast throughout the day. So we may squeeze out a little rain, but it's not going to be a complete washout, and I don't see any opportunity here Uh, for any heavy rainfall, and that's going to be thanks to that high pressure that has set up off to the east. If that was not there, then that better moisture would make it up off the Gulf of Mexico, and we'd be looking at a washout kind of Friday, but just don't see that happening today. Folks, if you get an opportunity to go to our weather store, we really appreciate your support. You pick up a coffee cup, a t-shirt, a baseball cap, part of the proceeds come back to support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. You'll go to the top of this video on Facebook, bottom of this video on YouTube. 
you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to our weather store. There are also multiple other links there for you, different ways for you to support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. And you can find the link to our new Discord channel that we're in the process of testing and working on. We really haven't gone public with it yet, but there is a link if you want to go take a look at it. Just understand we're still in the process of getting all of that put together. And hopefully within the next uh, week or so, we'll uh, do a big introduction to our Discord channel. It's going to be pretty cool. You're going to be able to do a lot of things over there to interact with Dr. Don's weather, including receive those weather watches and warnings over on our Discord channel. It's a special channel set up just for that. We'll tell you more about it coming up in the coming days. Hope you have a fantastic Friday. Don't forget, we've got high school football in Roanoke tonight over on the iSchool Sports Network. Woodland is in action tonight. Wadley Big win last night over in Sylacauga at uh, Farm Links Field. Congratulations to them number one dogs. I'll see you back in here first thing tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise right here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College. The venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sway Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.